This is a great day for the city of Mesa and all of our residents. Getting the opportunity to be a part of this education initiative has been very rewarding for me personally and something that I find great joy in seeing come to fruition, to seeing this building be finished and open, ready for students to come and learn here. Earning a college degree not only is a great investment in oneself, but has the power to elevate one from poverty into prosperity. A college degree is one of the few investments that you can make that will always have a positive return, an investment worth making. As a city and with our partners in this education initiative, our role has been to be a catalyst for change in higher America, uh, American higher education. And we take that role very seriously. We believe that we have a genuine responsibility to lead, one that comes from our large base of assets, our significant and growing like-minded partners, and our expertise derived from the work in which we're engaged. I believe that we have used our role and resources wisely and effectively to transform higher education to meet our community's needs. The demand for highly skilled individuals is rapidly growing, and with that, higher education is having a more prominent role than ever, with its links to research and innovation. It has a crucial role to play in equipping students with those skills. Students' expectations are also changing. In today's digital era, students want to choose when they learn, what they learn, and how they learn it. That's why I'm truly grateful for our two prestigious partners who will be in this facility, Wilkes University and Westminster College, along with our other partners in this great endeavor. Here at this, we have here in this building, we have constructed one center, the Mesa Higher Center for Education, with two exceptional higher education institutions where there are infinite opportunities to learn and grow both personally and professionally. I had the great opportunity to go back and visit the college campuses, their main campuses, this past summer. And I got to, uh, at both Wilkes University at Westminster College and Albright College. It was a very rewarding experience to visit both with the presidents of the university and with the faculty and staff and see their passion and drive in this project and what they have accomplished at their home campuses as well. Wilkes is definitely a unique university where you can find professional programs intertwined with the traditional liberal arts college education. Wilkes University, as Dr. Leahy has explained, has a rich history. It was built to meet the educational needs of uh, the town of Wilkes Bar, which at the time was the largest community in Pennsylvania without a college or university of its own. I think that there are many parallels in that Wilkes is coming to Mesa to offer and expand educational opportunities to, the, to a city of over 500,000 residents. On the campus, you'll find beautiful historic mansions that house departments, offices, and students. But they are alongside state-of-the-art buildings that are used to further advance innovation and research in academia. Students work alongside a renowned faculty on research projects that help deepen their understanding of subject material for the student and allow them to have a sense of ownership and pride in the work that they're engaged. The campus has an urban feel with both, past, with the, both the past history of its community interwoven with the potential future of the university. In the heart of Fulton, Missouri, you'll find Westminster College. It's a beautiful residential campus filled with flowing lawns, beautiful trees, and a rich history. Westminster goes to great lengths to help each and every one of its students become future leaders. While I was touring, Dr. Forsyth informed me that Westminster College has one of the highest graduation rates for handicapped students, such uh, as those who suffer from Asperger's. This shows the dedication that Westminster shows to each and every student that walks through its doors. Westminster is also immersed in history. I had the opportunity to go and stand where Winston Churchill at the time the, uh, he had been the Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II, where he gave his Sinews of Peace address and where he foretold the fall of the Iron Curtain uh, across Eastern Europe in that prolific statement. At the campus, they've also built a beautiful museum dedicated to the life and legacy of Sir Winston Churchill. And above it, as Dr. Forsyth has uh, said, there is that beautiful 17th century church designed by Christopher Wren and it was brought over from London to the Westminster campus. Having the opportunity to touch a piece of the Berlin Wall and all that signifies in world history and the symbolism it represented of the Iron Curtain dividing East and West Berlin and both the free and communist world is something that I will always value. It's also where uh, Mikhail Gorbachev spoke at the end of the Cold War declaring the end of the Cold War. 
With its rich global history, Westminster has the opportunity to offer its students that global perspective and help them become truly globally oriented. At both of these campuses, you will find dedicated faculty and staff that cares and an overall environment that promotes success. I know that each of these schools will bring that same passion and determination to this campus. And I can't wait to see the great things that will happen here. And so I'm truly grateful for their partnership and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future brings. Thank you.